Okay, if we're going to go to the caress, we're going to have to dress accordingly. All right. Let's let's do this properly. Hey, sweetheart. What do you got, what do you got to say? Tara remains as willful as ever. I'm glad you finally made her acquaintance. Given the length of my time away, I feared she might have given up on me. Oh, I should have known better. She'd never do such a thing. Um, aww, that's something Tara and I have in common. Aww. Uh, yeah, seemed fairly ordinary cat to me. I can see why you love her. She's quite the character. That's something Tara and I have in common. I wouldn't have her any other way. I'd actually been thinking about introducing the two of you anyway. Over a sumptuous home-cooked meal, if yes. that sounds at all to your taste. Yes! My tower in Waterdeep boasts an excellent <gasps> kitchen and a wine cellar to rival Ondo himself. Yes! Not to mention a larder stocked with my homemade Hundor sauce. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Gale's special sauce. Cord would be all over Gale's special sauce. No, but seriously, Cord is a foodie and that sounds amazing. I would think that Cord knows a thing or two about cooking too and would love to cook him a meal as well. It's a date. I'm inviting you me to your house for the first time. You must really like me. Uh, I'd rather we did something just the two of us without the cat. Oh. Um. Um. Inviting me to your house for the first time. You must really like me. More than you could possibly believe. Oh. Now that we've got something to look forward to, I think it's time we went and saved the world. Don't you? Yes. Yes, there's something else on my mind. Anything you ask, I'll answer as honestly as I can. I'm an open book, requiring only your gentle hands to turn my pages. Oh my. Woo! Woo! Nice. There's nothing that would give me... Kiss on the roof. Kiss on the roof. Thank you, sweetheart. This lighting, man, is so nice. Bundle of letters. Outlander, Cats Cut Your Tongue, Pulse and Spire. Um, find the missing letters. What missing letters are we looking for again? Bundle of letters. What just happened? Oh, three items received. Okay. Um... Letters about taxes? By speaking with the dead, we learned that a dwarf clad in red killed both Father Lorgan and Brilgor. We need hard proof to exonerate Brilgor, however, and should check out the murder scene. I actually don't know where the murder scene is. I thought it was in the kitchen. A concerned citizen tries to clarify his economic situation so that they are taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic proportions that would make an accountant cry. A lengthy letter from a Baldurian patriarch to an unknown correspondent it describes in no uncertain terms how both parties could profit from a war. For the special and direct attention of Roa Moonglow only, look, Roa, your city, Zent, have always been consummate professionals to me, so I don't understand why the Joaquin's rest cell is so useless. I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but I've heard absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zaris doesn't answer my correspondence anymore. Donzo. Maybe I should take these to the courier. Blood. Huh. Where is the crime scene? I actually don't know. Okay, now that I'm here, how do we get out? Can I just jump? Here, let's get onto the roof. Oh! Dribbles the Clown. Hey, it's the circus. Is this a circus? Ooh. Good to know that I can access circus from here. I don't 
suppose is a better way for me to get down. I don't think there is. It's okay. Where is the scene of the crime? Where is the scene of the crime and where's the crypt? Please. In the cellar. The cellar. Oh, the cellar. There's the blood. Blood, 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 blood. There's the cellar. Maybe it takes us to the crypt. Towels pile? I was gonna say, is there something underneath the towels? Sausages. Love a good sausage. Rotten cheese. Water. Do what must be done. Spoiled treacle tart. I don't want spoiled treacle anything. Wine rack. Yoink. Be you wicked okay. or wise. Okay. Good, good, good. At least things have stayed interesting. Don't waste a step. Ah. Huh. Quarter staff. Let us show them how it's She's done. She's proficient with the quarter staff. What's this? If she wanted to use that as a weapon, she could. Plus eight. Plus eight. A stunning strike melee. Flare of low stagger. We can try her using a quarter staff. Um, on the weary, volume one. Rites of the passing. Silver glass. Never a dull moment. On the weary, Father Lorgan. A collection of Father Lorgan's writings on despondency. Perhaps the hardest suffering to ail is that which dulls but the, but does not pang. Weariness sits deep within one's soul, but it casts its miring net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malays of this sort can rot the heart, if left to fester, but must ex be extric extricated carefully. Above all, as the weary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. Rites of the Passing. A book of Ilmetri death sites. This page on the turning is particularly dog-eared. There will come many a time, O worship tormented, that you will have to comfort a faithless unfortunate as they pass from this life to the next, or perhaps even more distastefully. You may be faced with the dying acolyte of a wretched god, been keen to shirk the blasted afterlife awaiting them. The Lord on the rack grants us a great many powers, but altering the moral velocity of a soul is one we cannot shift to the de on the deathbed. If one has lived a life of sin, their soul is bound for a sinful place, no matter their final protestations. However, protestations. However, it would do much more harm than good to tell them this. Ilmater does not forbid the speaking of untruth, no matter how polite society dream deems to act. If it would spare the dying wretch some suffering as they pass, tell them that the weeping God waits awaits them with his, his bombing embrace. Make them believe, whatever torment their soul bears in the realms beyond, it, it remembers not their shape. So spare them at least at this final passing moment from hardship. All right, let's save, since we haven't saved in a while. Plea of rest. Best be on my way. Autumn Crocus. Ooh, sheet music. Sheet music. That, that'll fit in my pack. An Alaic fugue in the key of D minor entitled O to the Oppressed. Can I, like, actually play it? Even if I can't, I would totally want to keep it. Hmm. I don't think I can perform it, right? Yeah. That would be cool, though, if, if I picked up a song, song, music sheets, and was able to play it. And haste. 
and hastily scrawled and slightly damp plea of rest, requesting to be freed of Ilmater's service for the duration of a ten day as the writer mourns Father Lorigan. Okay. So, huh. It looks like Let's the spirit see. of the amulet, the crypt might be here. Oh. A crypt. This must be where Shira Klarwin is buried. Which one is Shira Klarin? The plaque. Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Here lies Raloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, died 1486 DR. Here lies Sister Shira mm. Clarwin, date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. Here it is, the tomb of the amulet spirit's granddaughter. Time for a family reunion. Yeah. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker, born 1400 DR, died 1456 DR. Oak Father, preserve you. All right. Can you pass the amulet? Wherever we go, we gods. Let there be something I don't know green. If, I don't know if I have to wear it, but I think I do. Um. So. Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing. I'm afraid your granddaughter has passed away. I'm afraid your granddaughter has passed away. Oh, no, no! This cannot, must not, shall not be! <laughs> you must open her tomb in the open hand temple post haste. She may bless us even beyond the veil. If you say so. If you don't think she'll be upset about that. You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. Okay. Yep. Darling <laughs> Shira, faithful to the crying god, long didst I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Gone, thou might be, alas. <laughs> what do we do? Oh my. Oh. Hello. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Honored Shira. Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> yeah. Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shall it be thou? I mean, I I mean, I suppose it, if you want to rest, if it will bring you peace, I will bear the madness. Uh, gods, no, I don't want to inherit your curse. And what happens if I say yes? Ponder what you know of the monk's affliction. What are the consequences of accepting it? I'd like to know that if possible. Yeah, what are the consequences? The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Oh, I don't know if I want that. I want to remain wise. Ugh. Who doesn't need a lot of wisdom? Can somebody else get it? Give it to Asterion. Give it to Asterion. He would love that. And what happens if I say yes? Thou shalt know the extent of Shah's mania, Tasha's hideous laughter at thine beck and call. But at what cost? 
Who might say? <laughs> Give it to Starion. Gods, no, I don't want to inherit your curse. <laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. Uh oh. Wow, okay. Well, that was unfortunate. I just don't want to lose my wisdom. I was gonna have somebody else do it. Okay, well... Alright. Yeah, I just didn't want to lose my wisdom. Um, let's do... I mean, my go-to is to confuse. It's my go-to. I don't want him to do hideous top like Tasha's hideous laughter on me. Uh, topple. Nice. And Shalele. Fusion was very helpful. To me. Nice. Ooh. Okay, okay. Um. Yep. 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 War is an old woman's game. Stunning strike. Stunning strike again. There we go. Fall down. He's almost down. See, I, I don't. I hated that to win like this. A 
torturous fate by any That's measure. the thing. I didn't want it to be... I was going to get have it... I'm going to restart because I, in character, if I was actually role-playing this, I would have said, I don't want to, to but Asterion would totally be over, all over that. And I feel like Asterion be able to cast Hasha's Hideous Laughter would be, like, fantastic. I could also give it to Gale. Gale might actually get a tick kick out of it, too. But I see Asterion being the one that doesn't care about wisdom. So let me just... I'll save it, but I want to load... I want to reload it, but have Asterion be the one to, like, get the curse. Because, yeah, I... I I don't. I I didn't intend for dooming, dooming, the, the the amulet guy. Yeah, I I didn't want that. So let me let me do that. Let's do this again. I can go anywhere, but I still end up in crypts. <sighs> Let's just find Shira Clawin and go. That's the spirit. <laughs> the amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. <sighs> can thou endure? You can try. Nah. Give in to the laughter. Flying machines. Walking brains. It's all so absurd. <laughs> oh my goodness. Asterion went all joker on us. Asterion totally could be joker for Halloween. He's got the pale face, he's got the grin, he's got... How unfortunate. Alas, thou must do. <laughs> Okay, we already went through this with this guy. Return me, take me home, and thou shalt glow with blessings. Okay, keep the amulet equipped. You feel a chuckle coming. Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> we already did this. This cannot, must not, shall not be. <laughs> you feel a chuckle. Here, we'll do this. Here lies Sister Shira Clawen. Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. Ah, Shira Clawen. Time to reunite you with your dear old granddad. <laughs> Darling Shira! Faithful to the crying god, long didst I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Gone, allow my dream, Yeah, his wisdom's 13. It's fine. Now, <laughs> shall it be thou? Yeah, I'll give it to Starian. It feels it's fitting for him to have it. If it will bring you peace, I will bear the madness. Your muscles tingle and your mouth twitches as the laughing madness spreads through you. The madness tugs at your mind, prods in places best left untouched. You feel your wisdom begin to drain. Call on your wits and shield your mind's most vulnerable reaches. Illithid wisdom. Constitution, wisdom, illithid wisdom. Accept the inevitable, allow your wisdom to drain. Enough, I don't want part of this. Oh, call on the parasite to absorb the strike. Being implanted with a mind flare tablet is fate worse than death, isn't it? Sure. Oh, well, there you go. You remain wise as ever, even as Shah's madness spreads outward. You giggle, <laughs> struck by the absurdity of the moment. A spirit hiding inside an amulet has brought you to the body of his granddaughter and possessed it. Outrageous. 
ridiculous. Once again, you feel your wisdom draining away. Hilarious. What is it? Muster your senses, clear your mind. Call on the parasite to absorb the strike. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. Okay. Hold constitution. Constitution plus two. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Improved bardic inspiration. 1d12. Let's roll again. Yeah, we have four inspiration. Roll again with... Yeah, total bonus. There we go. The urge to laugh dwindles. And you can't help but chuckle. You withstood the monk's madness and earned Tasha's hideous laughter. Nice. I think that might help with the sneak attacks too, maybe. My friend, forgive me, for this mind was not mine own. May laughter be thy gift, never thy curse, the morning lord calls. Canst thou feel the warmth of his blessing? This is not my final twilight, but a new dawn. Farewell. The corpse is an empty husk once more. The monk, liberated from madness, is finally at peace. Nice. Okay, I, I is, preferred that. Is he gone? Gods, I hope he's gone. Cool. Does the amulet stay with us? Oh, cool. Equipped by Asterion. Sentient amulet. I think it's... Sun, grace, warmth radiates from both the pendant and its chain. Somehow even a brief glance at it brings you a smile to your face. Unfortunately, like we didn't we don't gain the benefits of Call it anymore. Unfortunate. But it's okay. Let's get Are you okay, Asterian? I've lost on my mind and well, in it. So now Tasha's hideous laughter. Wisdom save, concentration. The creature must have intelligence. Yeah, you leave a creature prone with laughter, which helps with his sneak attack. So uh, for that's a very good utility spell for him, I think. Long rest. Once for long rest. Okay, that's fine. How high? You okay, Astarian? All right. What now? Hello, my dear. Okay, let's pop you back. With haste. I need a moment for the two of us. Down, down, down the river. What can I do for you, my friend? Oh, it's, uh, it sounds... It sounds awful. Uh, Karlak, where are you at? Let's bring Karlak back. Soldier? Help. Karlak's decent. Oh, Halson's almost at the top. Cool. And Jahari as well. She's actually the getting up there too. Done. Fervent flames. You take fire damage. You gain heat. Um, gain resist to slashing. Vulnerability to bludgeoning. Uh, Double-edged sword, but take Fireheart for now until I get a better amulet. Looking ahead. Okay. One day I'll catch a break. Okay. Now we can continue our investigation, I think. Arcane lock. Ooh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, that thing. Display case. 
the book tell, t tells the story of a patriarch woman who gave up her fortune to become a cleric of Ilmater in service in the outer city and now seeks to be canonized after her death. Here it is the full of true account of my bid to be canonized after my death is St. Bridget of Ilmater, the broken God, he of compassion and mercy, the one who endures. I live the blessed life of every privilege a patriarch woman can fathom. My parents were loving and generous, my community warm. Our larder was always full of bursting, full to bursting. But in the years after the death of the Sarvok, my eyes were open to the a world as it is, a world of pain and danger, a world where evil, if left unchecked, can thrive. I realized that my blessings had a cost. Why had I so much why had I so much where others had so little? I could no longer remain in the guided, gilded Elysium of the Upper City and sought to see the world as it truly was. Scroll of Lock, Scroll of Dominate Person, Teachings of Elmater. A series of behavioral lessons is derived from a devotee's interpretation of the ascendancy of the god of suffering, life, and endurance, Ilmater. Some of it is wholesome, with an emphasis on gentleness and alleviation of hardship. Some of it is a bit more dubious, such as the veneration of martyrs above all living saints. Some of it is flatly weird, including some stuff about self-flagellation, which is not most people's idea of a good time. Okay. Oh, but this needs to be disarmed. Doggone it. A record of alleged miraculous phenomena on the outskirts of Baldur's Gate attributed to Ellen Mater. Customer of Gildro Al Al Glerica and reckons he healed up mighty quick from a painful forge burn. Asked if Ellen Mater had something to do with the irksome talkative gent outside Carmen's. Powerful agent of suffering. Soup still showing up at a refugee camp even after temple closed kitchen. Curious. Man's hands tied together in horse reins claims he's a holy symbol. Manip Nest reports feeling close to his duty since relocation to refugee camp. Huh. Rows of books. Shatter. Confusion. Okay. Dog. No, no, no. I don't want to long rest. Doggone it, Karlak. I'm sorry. Just what I need. We just need a starion for a quick tick. Just a quick one. Hey, soldier. Sounds boring. Ah. Oh. Sorry. I just had a starion. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, my fi- Careful, I bite. Improved Bardic Inspiration, Attack Roll, or Ability Mire, Fraud Fire. Um, 20? Sure, why not? Just in case. Oh, good! Turns out I needed that 20. I needed that. Should be easy. Nice. I used the inspiration when I should have used it. Elixir of Fire Resistance. It's a little underwhelming, considering the traps and all that good stuff. No okay. time to rest. Shouldn't mind my step. There's something there. So how do I? Level 8 Doppelganger. Good to know. Okay. Um. More Doppelgangers. Already feeling better. Okie dokie. What can I do for you, my friend? Oh, darn. It sounds... It sounds awful. Hey, soldier. 
All right, let's save. Let's save. In blood. Kill them. All right. Let's do this. Oh, nice. Let's shove him off. If we can. Um... Double your movement speed. Float. Yeah, let's double my movement speed. Let's go up to here. On the hunt. Flurry of blows. Push. Doggone it! That would have been really great if I had, if I succeeded in that. But it's okay. Oh, it comes easy these days. Up already. All right. Confusion. <laughs> Lovely. Nice. Four things. Not really. Tactical. Wild magic. Wild rage, wild rage. Oh, nice, I can teleport. Good to know. a dire raven and can avoid attention with blind enemies. The earth beneath that crunches, or the bones within. Hmm. I'd love to, thanks. Good question. Field report Death Stalker's womb. Aspirant Dolor is talented, if a touch careless. The dagger he discards lurks within the cave somewhere, though I know not where. where. I can smell it. The fear musk from his kill stands in the air after the act because he lets them manipulate, marinate first. They stand, lie, sit, stock still as the poison fills their limbs with lit lead. Knowing only, only two perfect facts, they are going to die. There's nothing they can do about it. Flowery key. Spattered with blood is inscribed with the address of Freyo's Flop House in Worms Crossing. Freyo's Flop House. Salt. Ooh. Ooh. By speaking with a dead 
One of the doppelganger assassins underneath the open hand thimble had a strange flowery key. We should find out what, what opens. That's cool. I like, I love murder mysteries. So this is fantastic. Okay. Let's get going. Anything of use? Blue cap. Severed torso? The effigy of Ilicera, who watched and waited. What use what use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. Below is an exotic signature signature in blood, Orin the Red. Get Orin's Netherstone. We found a cruel and deliberately staged murder scene in Baldur's Gate. It could be the work of Orin. Maker. Ooh, dagger. Hold person. Proficient weapon type unlocks. Nice. That's going to Asterian. For sure. Metallic gloves. Oathbreaker knight boots. Leather gloves. Always nice to be wanted. Metallic gloves. Okay. Let's go, in. No one back home will ever believe this. Can't slow down. Spear. Ready and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. Have a look. Kill rotten lemon. Let's move. Moving in. Yikes. Looks like these people were trying to hide in the tunnels here. Tenants. To little avail. Yeah, tenants of the broken god. This prayer book is blotted with tear stains, and a few of the pages bear the marks of frequent consultations. Adish 27. In the face of aversion, persevere. In the face of aggression, endure. In the face of one who is suffering, comfort. Adage 33. The broken god must shed his tears, for without he would be heartless. Likewise, you will cry, you will weep, and you will feel the lamentations upon, cunning upon your shoulder blades. Adage 92. This entire entry has been scratched out in frustration. Pouch. Scroll of ice, send that to the camp. Black staff. Traveler's chest. Potion of invisibility. Amethyst ring. Ready? Wow. Lots of stuff. Work to be done. Melkor. Request for alms. Please, Father Lorgan, Rector Yanis, if you find if you've any food to spare, 
Our stomachs yell at night like kicked dogs. Carrots, apples. We'll even crunch an onion if that's what you got. Yours, Fuldra Thuldren. So these are, they were hiding out down here. Ooh, Swarty, for Wayfaring Cream. They were hiding out here. Father Lorgan was helping them, I think. That was the implication. By hiding them in here. So they would be safe. Dear Miss Priest, this letter is written careful but erratic hand of a newly learned writer. Mom says I need to say thank you more, so thank you. Thank you for telling off that nasty woman who was shouting all those nasty things at me. That's three times I've wrote thank you now, four, so I think Mom will be happy. One more thing, did you see my teddy anywhere? I think I dropped it during all the shouting. Oh, poor kid. Poor kid. Blood. So sad. No, never mind. I don't know if that's never wanted the easy connected path. to the murders at all or not. Ah, we found a murder weapon and a flowery key underneath the open hand temple. We should check what the key opens. Okay. So apparently, not only is this an epic, epic dagger, it's also the murder weapon, it seems. Gotcha. Oh. Old person. So that's what paralyzed him? All right. It wasn't really a, a toxin. Okay, so we want to go to the... Hand. We should check what the key opens. Up top it says, I need the open hand temple. Where do we go? Um, Alright, let's just go leave camp. I think we're good here because... That cloud kill is just not the greatest place to be. So let's go back to the Thousand Man of Work. Um, we want to go to... Well, we do want to go to... Um, the investigator who said that they were at the Charesse Caress. Worm crossing. The Charesse's Caresses. Which is. Where is that? From decadent drow to whip cracking librarians, we cater to all tastes. See Mamzelle Amira for a full list of company. Interesting. Yeah. So, okay. So, sure. Um, uh, where's the murder stuff? Baldur's Gate. Where the heck is the is the murder quest? The spirit possessed Shira's body. We agreed to take on the curse of his madness, allowing the spirit to pass on. Which I'm very happy we were able to do that. Um, solve the open hand temple mur murders. Yeah. So, I don't know why the investigator went here. It's like a brothel. So, if we're gonna go to the brothel, we should do it in style. So, my dudes. Let's bring on. Let's let's do it properly. So. Always at your side. Hey, soldier. Really? Oh, yeah. fine. Yes. Yes. Oh, but wait. You mentioned there might be another way to find me. 
There might be, but... Mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. Okay, fine. That's okay. You're sure? Halson, you could stay. Um... Gail? Anything I can do for you, consider it... Always good to talk, my friend. That's the... Okay, if we're going to go Let's to move. the caress, we're gonna have to dress accordingly. We're gonna have to dress accordingly. All right. Let's let's do this properly. I know Asterian would be great to have around two. If I could have a fifth care player, I would bring Asterian as well. But I feel like Asterian gets a lot of He's a popular character. He gets a lot of screen time. Let's let's make sure the other boys has I really like your underwear, Halson. I really like that Halson. Alright, let's go everyone. Now that we're dressed properly. Caresses, caress. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. I mean... In the end, cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your bliss. Do you? A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Yeah, I don't swing that way in terms of the female variety. Spot on, that sounds delightful. Not my first choice, but I wouldn't say no. You're way off, I'm afraid. Can can we not talk about this? You just misjudged me terribly. She'll need three costume changes, minimum. That would be hilarious, except it would... I mean, I would say that in jest, even though Kors done into women. But I would say... Can we... Can we not talk about this? You're way off, I'm afraid. Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure. You crave penance. Mm -hmm. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. I don't... Is it only women? We've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Will this stern librarian be of yours be back tomorrow? You have es drow escorts on hand? That sounds something. Are there other options for companionship? Not that I would actually do it because I'm attached devotedly to Gale, but I'm just curious. Nisha, our lovely nymph. Is it all females? She's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Is that Everyone Raphael? who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. No, I think I'm good with the harem. I feel like the eligible men that I have around me is far superior to what you're presenting. Uh, did the devil give you its name? It's Raphael. Indeed he did. Yeah. Raphael. Of course. Exceedingly handsome. Eh, and with a okay. voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. That I do agree with. He does have a sexy voice. Alright. Hi. This place stinks. This place sucks. To make drinks. You're a true talent. Try Hoots Hooch now. A once-in-a-lifetime booze extravaganza. Oh my goodness, Will is... Look at those abs, Will. Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Hoots, Hoots. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Corilla. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Oh. It's Raphael's favorite misadventure. Is that Mizora? You've put me out of pocket, you know. Raphael bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. Hmm. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. So I've heard. Uh... Who are you exactly? Oh, I forget. We've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Did you? Carilla is my name. Carilla DeVille. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Assistant. Take your like time. secretary? Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Can we rent? Can we just have a room? <laughs> can the four of us have a room together? No, no. I don't think they're all into that. Holson, maybe. I think Holson would be into that. Oh my, who's Hooligan? There's two of, two of them. I should speak Two of them. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. What do you mean, maybe? Show me what you have. Your new brew sounds potent. I'll give it a try. What's the story of this place? I bet a barkeep in this place hears all sorts of stories. I'd like to see what else you have. What's the story of this place? Charesse Caress. The Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Hmm. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. Okay, I can see that being appealing. Uh, I bet a barkeep in this place hears all sorts of stories. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. But you poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzelle Amira there looks about ready to burst. Mm. Your new, br uh, I, show me what you have. You got it, but the new hooch is off limits. Can't have the Mamzelle leaping down my throat if I go burning yours. Cool, cool. So these are camp supplies. Pleasure what else does you serve. have? What else do you have? Pleasure to serve. I'd like to see what else you have. Have a look. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how that's different from what you had before. You know what? Your new brew sounds potent. I'll give it a, that a try. I'm not much of a drinker. Cord doesn't. He's not a heavy drinker, but he likes trying new things. So. Don't know about that, chum. Hooch, hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Oh. Could beef you up. Sharpen your tongue. Or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. I do want something that could sharpen my tongue. Uh, why not? Let's go for it. Nah, the man knows what he wants. Well disapproved. First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. I don't know why Will disapproves. All right. Have a look. Item received. All Hoots, set, Hooch. All right. Real, does Will really disapprove that much? It's okay. A new invention of the Charis Caress, like being decked in the sobriety. Okay. Well, I'll I'll probably have some. Save that for a rainy day. Uh, fist gain, Heimer. You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Hell, darling. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. But other anchoring for spicier flavors. How about you give me a taste? So many abs everywhere. Is everything all right here? I think it's time for you to get out of here, buddy. Is everything all right here? Right as falling rain. What's it to you, chuffer? Don't worry your pretty head about the fist, love. I can play them all like a lute. Ooh, I like that analogy. 